Good morning guys, it is Saturday morning and I am just working on my holiday gift guide. I wanted to get both of them out to you this weekend. I'm posting one Saturday and one Sunday, but look at what keeps happening here on YouTube. Every time I try to make an adjustment, this is the screen that I get. So I'm getting a little bit concerned that I might not be able to get this up for you guys this weekend. I'm gonna keep trying, but it's so frustrating. And this is the first time I'm like actually giving myself a deadline on something. Usually, you know, I do my daily vlogs that I've been sharing every morning with you guys, but I don't typically have like something really important I wanna get out at a certain time up until now. And of course, <laughs> today's the day that YouTube's going to start glitching and giving me a hard time. So hopefully I can get that out to you guys sometime today, but I am working on it. Jim just went to pick up Madison from her sleepover party that she was at last night and we had a good time watching Christmas movies last night and just relaxing and eating chocolate, of course. It was a nice night out with Emily, got a lot of Christmas shopping done. A lot of you guys seem interested in seeing a Marshalls haul, so before I start wrapping all of those gifts, I'm going to try to record a haul for you guys this week so I can share that with you because we found a lot of really nice stuff, very inexpensively, and I'm excited to share that with you. So hopefully I can find time this week to film that as well. And today I have Madison's cheer banquet at 12. So last night we had the swim team pasta party and today we have the cheerleading banquet. I don't understand why the school does all of these events in the month of December and especially on the weekends because it's a couple of weekends until Christmas and people have things to do this time of year. Like any other month of the year would be way better than December. Do your schools do this as well or is it just our crazy school system here because why are you taking up my December weekends on these sporting events? It's beyond me. But that's what we're doing today. And then tonight we have a fundraiser event that we go to every year where you bring an unwrapped toy and we do like a tricky tray. So I always provide a tricky tray basket. I think I showed you guys last week my Mickey World Travel Disney themed basket that I put together. So that's always a really nice event to go to. And that's pretty much going to be my Saturday. I have two loads of laundry sitting on my bed waiting to be folded, but I really want to get through editing this holiday gift guide if I can figure out a way to work through this YouTube glitch going on right now. Madison just got back from her sleepover. Tell them what you did at your sleepover. So we got, I got an app and it, um, you put in a picture and then it shows you what your celebrity is. It's called Gradient and I did my mom <laughs> and guess who she turned out to be? Hi sisters! <laughs> 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 Who is that? James Charles. James Charles. He's a really famous YouTuber, right? Yeah. And he does like makeup tutorials yeah. and things. Yeah, so apparently that's my look-alike. Yeah. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just did Madison's and these are her top three. Natalie Dormer, Audrey Hepburn, <laughs> and... Ashwara Ray Buchan. I don't know who a that Chad. is. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I don't really see any resemblance. I feel better about the uh, Ray Charles thing. James Charles? <laughs> James Charles. <laughs> Ray Charles? Hey, that's a person, too, that's famous. I don't think I look like him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. No, not, not if you know who Ray Charles is. I, don't, I definitely don't look like him. Ray Charles? <laughs> Here are the elves today. Pretty funny. I love this old picture of Madison when she was a baby. Look at the expression on her face. <laughs> it's just so cute. And they're just looking at her, wondering what is going on. Hey, Leo. Well, that's not a very nice view. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Chester. Oh, no. I can't talk to you guys without you jumping all over me. What's up? All right. It's now about quarter after two on Saturday. I went to Madison's chair banquet. It was a lot of fun. The girls all got like trophies and stuff. So that was cute. And now, believe it or not, <laughs> Madison is off to another sleepover. One of her cheerleader friends invited her to spend the day at her house and to sleep over, which actually was really helpful to us because the fundraiser event that we're going to tonight is only for adults and I had to figure out who was babysitting her. So that actually worked out really well. 
and I'm just tidying up around the house. I finished up the laundry. I have dishes going. You could probably hear it because I'm standing right next to the dishwasher right now. And I vacuumed, so just kind of getting the house in order and nothing really too exciting going on. Luckily, I was able to upload that video. Hopefully you guys are able to view it now. I posted it for two o'clock, so hopefully it went through okay. And today I have to work on editing my second holiday gift guide video. So I hope you guys do like them and that's it. So I think I'm gonna go work on that one now so that I don't have to worry about it later. Just wanted to show you guys the chaos of my office. <laughs> tis the season and do you love my very indiscreet way of hiding gifts right now under the blanket there <laughs> so under the blanket are just bags of things that I still need to wrap mostly stuff that I picked up from Marshall's that I want to show you guys first and then more stuff here that I need to wrap more stuff that I need to wrap and then I have all of my wrapped gifts just kind of around the tree and my gift bags and boxes are in this little bin here so it's a bit much going on, but I really have no other place to keep all of this right now. And this seems to be working out for me. So <laughs> that is the deal. Hopefully I can tackle some more wrapping this upcoming week. And then once I wrap things, I can relocate them somewhere else. I'll pop, I'll pop them again because I'm, <laughs> here we go again with the popping. I'll uh, put them in a closet somewhere and get them out of my office. It's about five o'clock at night and I spent a lot of time on the computer today just doing my holiday gift guides. And then I was actually just doing a little bit of online shopping. So I have to get ready to leave. I was gonna change, this is what I'm wearing. It's not really all that exciting, but I kind of just feel like being comfortable tonight. I was gonna put on like a skirt and heels, but it's so dark and cold out and I'm just not in the mood for dressing up. So I think I'm just gonna be comfortable. It's kind of a casual event anyway. I mean, you can dress nicer if you wanted to, but you also can keep it casual. So I think tonight I'm just gonna keep it casual. Maybe I'll put on my um, festive sweater that I got remember the pink sweater that I wore on a couple of other videos I showed it to you guys when I got it I bought it at Walmart for an ugly sweater party maybe I'll wear that tonight I don't know we'll see <laughs> but Emily's gonna be home from work soon I think we're just gonna grab some dinner and we're gonna head off to the fundraiser so I probably will not see you guys until sometime tomorrow because it's gonna be a late night so I'll see you then bye it is Sunday, December 8th, and I began my day reading this book. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, Simple Abundance, A Day Book of Comfort and Joy by Sarah Ban Brethnock, Brethnich, I don't know. I've had this book for such a long time, and I still periodically read it year after year, and it starts off with the thoughts that were exactly on my mind this morning, so I just wanted to read it to you. <laughs> It says, this is the week that women's shoulders begin to droop as their list of holiday should do's becomes as long and heavy as Jacob Marley's chains. There's card writing, card mailing, gift buying, gift wrapping, gift sending, tree buying, tree trimming, cookie baking, party giving, turkey roasting. By next week, unless a power greater than ourselves restores us to sanity, women will be dropping in their tracks. So true. That's exactly how I am feeling right now. Good morning guys, it is Sunday morning. We had the fundraiser event last night. It went really well. I got home kind of late and Emily just went out and got Dunkin' Donuts for us. So <laughs> we're having some coffee and getting ready to go to a German Christmas market. So I am so bundled up. I'll show you what I'm wearing in a little bit, but <laughs> I have so much clothes on right now because I've never been to this one before and they're usually like an outdoor market and sometimes they have tents set up that are heated, like really, really big tents. So if that's the case, we'll be fine. But if it's legit, you're outside a lot of the time. I think it's currently 18 degrees out right now. And I do not do well in the cold weather at all. So I wanna be prepared. So I'm gonna have hats, gloves, my warmest boots. I have a couple of layers of clothes on right now. I just wanna keep as warm as possible because I'm miserable when I am freezing. But it should be fun. I'm going with Emily and my mom. Madison's still at our sleepover. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm excited to do that. I want to attempt to do something else later on this afternoon, which is why we're going super early this morning to the German Christmas market. I'm hoping that I can 
either put up the Christmas village or I haven't talked to my husband about it yet, but we still need to get our Christmas tree and decorate it. So if we could accomplish one of those things today, that would be really, really great because I cannot believe how quickly December is flying by and like, it's go time. <laughs> I was online shopping again this morning, just trying to check people off of my list and trying to catch up on purchasing gifts because especially when you do a lot of online shopping, you never know what's going to happen with deliveries. And I'm already waiting for a couple of things that should have been delivered by now and aren't here and I'm getting nervous. So I want to get all of that done this week. So I still have a couple of weeks left to get the items in the mail and know I have them for the holidays. So that is what is going on today. I'm looking forward to spending the day with my mom and Emily. It should be really a lot of fun. Never been, like I said, I've never been to this one before, but I've heard so many good things about it and so many people I know have gone. So I'm expecting it to be a lot of fun. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. I have on my heaviest sweater and then I have a shirt on underneath it. And then I have leggings, my LuLaRoe Queen of Heart leggings. I don't know why it keeps getting dark. <laughs> and I have them under my jeans. Have you guys ever tried to wear jeans over leggings? It is not an easy thing to do, let me tell you. <laughs> I had to keep readjusting and like the leg keeps pulling up. It's still a little bit bunched up down here, but I made it work and it's keeping me warm. And then I have on my warmest boots that I own, which are my Uggs that I absolutely love and wear all the time. I could use a new pair. These are pretty beat up, but they're the best thing in the world. And we're gonna be headed out in just a little while, so. That is everything I'm wearing. I'm gonna have on hats and gloves, not hats, one hat. <laughs> I'm gonna wear a hat and gloves and probably a scarf and my long black North Face that like literally goes down to past my knees so it'll keep me nice and warm. Okay, now I am officially ready. <laughs> and we're off, I'll see you guys later. just got back from the German Christmas market. It was a lot of fun. It was really cold. It was like, I think it maybe went up to 34 degrees. So it was pretty cold, but we found some cute things. I didn't do all that much shopping, although we did buy some food items because they had fudge and cookies and just all kinds of stuff. So I did get some of that. I'll show you a few of the little things that I bought, but even though it's not very much, and now my mom is headed over here in a little bit. We're gonna put together our Christmas village and then we might go by the Christmas tree. So we might be going to the Christmas tree farm and then we'll decorate the tree. So I have a lot of very ambitious things to do today. So we'll see if we get it all done. It's already after three o'clock in the afternoon. So we'll see how we make out. But if I can manage to accomplish all of those things today, I feel like we will be back on track because I am falling behind this holiday season. And I'm hoping that we can get it all done without totally exhausting ourselves. Okay, so I'll quickly show you guys the couple of things that I picked up. I found these really cute handmade Christmas earrings. They're little Santa hats and they have little crystals in them. I thought that was cute. And then I picked up some fudge. I'm not gonna open it up, but it's peppermint fudge and pumpkin fudge. And Emily really wanted this. It is toffee, little bits of toffee. It was really good. It's peanut and chocolate. And I love how they put it in this little jar. So cute. I was so disappointed when I had this. I bought it, it was like $15 for maybe eight of these or not even i think there were five or six cookies and they're called stroopies yeah they're called stroopies 
and after I bought them and opened them up we realized we couldn't even bite into it it was so hard we each tried to eat one and we ended up throwing it out because it was so stinking hard and when we tried the samples there they were really really good and they were soft and then when I read the directions on the back it says that they're best served warm so I think you need to really warm these up so I'm gonna give it another try there's only three left so I'm hoping for the best princess princess is so bad Emily just told me she pooped and peed all over her bed including on her pillows so we're not really happy with her right now I don't know what the deal is and the litter box has been totally clean so I don't know why she is doing this to Emily this week and it's not a good week to be doing this to Emily princess like really why are you behaving like this so anyway these don't look like anything now but I'm excited to show them to you when I put them together there are these big stars that illuminate we're gonna put them in the window and they come with the cords I just have to get the bulbs for them but they're gonna be so pretty you guys are going to love the way they look I just I've always wanted them and I was excited that I found them there and that's everything that we got at the German market and now we're gonna put together the Christmas village I think you need music and hot cocoa. <laughs> Should I play some Christmas music? And make some hot cocoa. And make oh some hot cocoa. Emily's going to do it. All right. Madison, did mommy tell you how grandma answered the waitress <laughs> today? Madison, okay, this is the a waitress <laughs> goes, do you want pickles with your burger? And grandma goes, oh, I never refuse a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> so the quote of the day today, every day, every time we're like, Grandma will ne can never refuse a pickle, <laughs> right, never, Grandma? Can, <laughs> I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a T-shirt made for you that says, "Never refuses never a pickle." Refuses a pickle. <laughs> this lady never refuses a pickle. <laughs> I told her I don't want lettuce. I don't want tomato. She goes, "Oh, okay." How well, about the chocolate? pickle? Would you like a pickle? Oh, I said, "Oh, a pickle? I Dad. never refuse a pickle." <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's old now. She <laughs> says stupid things. <laughs> it's okay. It was so worth it. <laughs> yeah, <it's not. laughs> I oh no! What is happening? She was gonna have the train come headed in, for the family. Headed for the family with the baby carriage. With the baby. I told Emily. her no. That's not what we do. <laughs> the train pulls into the platform. I didn't platform. know the kids were I, there. I, so I Madison to, saved the is, day though. Mom, she grabbed this them. This is where they will go. Put them someplace. The train Okay, you're gonna <laughs> into the graveyard. Into the graveyard yeah. to the cemetery. Oh, ho ho ho! <laughs> yeah, let's put the train in a more appropriate place, yeah. please. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's better. Thank you, Emily. Think the village looks pretty good. Did Patrick mess it all up? Yeah. <laughs> what did he do? Are you fixing it? Yeah. Putting all the people back where they go? All right, it's time to get the tree. You ready? Yep. So we're moving around the furniture and making space for the tray. The tree is going to go over here. I put down this tree skirt and then we put the tray in and then we put like another tree skirt over it just to protect the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the tree? Yes. Yeah. So here is the star that I was telling you guys about. Look at how pretty that looks. Emily has it hanging in her window. So it looks really, really pretty. And we're gonna put the second one, I think in another one of Emily's windows because it's not gonna work in my office window, unfortunately. But it's so pretty. It's a really nice looking tree. 
but we gotta cut that off the top because it's scratching up the ceiling pretty good. <laughs> we have, yeah, we have a, a lot of memory scratches over the years. Yeah, it smells amazing. That's the nicest smell of tree. Yeah, and the nicest shape I think we've ever had. Looking good. Madison, did you ever send your letter to Santa this year? We better get on that. <laughs> Oh, we have to do the Elf on the Shelf Shrinky Dink. I think it's in your closet. Remind me tomorrow to do that, okay? okay. All right, the lights are going up. And then we're going to start decorating the tree. You excited? Yeah. It's about 6.15, and somehow we're managing to get it all done in a day. So we are going to get takeout for dinner and decorate the tree and that is going to be the end of my weekend vlog. I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along. It was so much fun. We just did so many festive, fun, holiday things this weekend. So I hope that you enjoyed being a part of it and we're going to decorate now. So I'll show you that in the next clip. I'll just show you a little bit of our Christmas tree decorating and the final outcome of how it looks. But I'm gonna say goodnight so I can put all of my time and focus on decorating the tree with the family. And sorry for all the noise in the background <laughs> because that's just the way it is here when I decide to film in the same room where the dogs live. All right, I hope that you guys all had a great weekend and I will see you tomorrow. And I apologize now if I'm not able to get this up for 6 a.m. because I just really wanna have some genuine quality family time tonight. And knowing that I have to upload and edit and put a couple of hours into YouTube is going to be such an added stress tonight. So I'm sorry, it will be uploaded tomorrow. You will see my Monday vlog, but it might not be at 6 a.m. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Frosty. <laughs> Emily, where is Frosty? It's not even funny. <laughs> I told you you should put him on your tree. The dogs oh. ate him. No. Leo. Where's Frosty? Leo, fetch. Come on, this isn't funny. I'm stressing out. Where is my Frosty? Oh, <laughs> we have to do better than that. Oh. The angel Which looks way? like she's being like squashed. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Don't knock the tree over. Looks good all the way. Yeah, what happened to the light? I don't know. Oh the man. Whatever.